Hi, this is Julie Nangelina reporting for EBTV Channel 3. I'm at UMD and J Robert Wood Johnson Medical School, and today I'll be speaking with Judith Spray and Purview Patel about their endeavor, the 99 Bottles Project. Hi, Judy. I understand that you conceived of the 99 Bottles Project. What was your inspiration? Uh, oh, well, I grew up well, yeah, as a child with these songs, like 99 Bottles of Beer on the Wall, you know. And uh, when I came to UMDNJ, you know, I know that uh, they have Petri dishes and test tubes and flasks and all kinds of experimental bottles. And I would pass through the glass cases up here, and I would see them, and uh, they're fascinating. And uh, I have a friend, little Bobby Duncan, who was uh, painting bottles out at McCarter Theater for their gift case. And um, they were so beautiful, and they were very tiny. And it was so easy. And I was thinking, well, if we did this here, the students don't have a lot of time to paint. But it doesn't take a lot of time to paint something like that big, all right? So we began the middle of last winter, and all the different departments in the medical school sent us boxes and boxes of all these beautiful bottles. Uh, the glass, little tiny glass bottles with little glass tops that would fit in there, very graceful. Petri dishes, test tubes, flasks, and a lot, some of the bottles were this big. They're very, very beautiful. And um, so what we would do, we would line the tables up and bring out all the paints and all the glass bottles, and each month we would sit down and we would invite whatever artist that we could. And uh, little Bobby Duncan come, uh, uh, Paul Puglisi from Long Branch, he came, Hoop, who calls himself King of Art from Clifton, New Jersey. So we were really pulling out some serious good artists. It was an awful lot of fun. And uh, all the students would come out and some of the professors, and I think there was even a custodian and someone from the kitchen. And then, and then we invited the Girl Scouts, and it was troops. 892 with Robin, Robin Barnett, and she had about 10 little Girl Scouts that came, and uh, between all that, and then this year's efforts, too, we went way past 99 bottles. Wow. Do you have a favorite bottle? Do I have a favorite bottle? That's, that's tough. Um, I would say probably the one on the end, the If I Could Save Time in a Bottle by Bob Dunham, okay? But I like the bottles. I like all of them together. To me, it's like a visual hallelujah chorus, you know, where it all comes together and it makes sense. And how do you get more people to um, partake in this? Well, we posted everything on the website. and. Uh, it's still going on, because right now we're inviting artists from all over the world, and that includes teenagers in high school with Photoshop skills, as we have 180 feet of space, and so far we have about 80 feet up. And what we're doing, everybody gets to keep their bottle if they paint a real glass bottle. We're only using the images, and then we blow them up, okay? Now what's happening is that we we just recently, last week, we photographed some unusual experimental bottles and we post them on the website. So anyone all over the world can log on and they can click on the bottle that they want, right click, save it to their own files, experiment with it in Photoshop, send it back to us and we will post it immediately. Okay, and then what we're going to do is to complete the rest of the space, which you'll see in the other room. And we may enlarge some of them because there's 32 pillars in the other room, you know, uh, both sides. <laughs> Hi, Purby. How did you get involved with the 99 Bottles Project? Hi, uh, I work with Judy Ray. I'm actually his medical student coordinator, and we coordinate art exhibits every month. So this is something that I'm working with her as a joint project at the med school. And what have you been doing lately to get the medical students involved? I basically coordinate um, uh, monthly like uh, sessions where p uh, students can come during lunch time, and we just basically talk about it. We uh, send out emails, things like that. Do you paint any yourself? Yeah, it's a lot of fun, actually. It's a lot of fun. 
I did repeat myself too. I actually minored in, in art history in, in college, yeah. I, I actually, I think it's great because it's what I'm really interested in. I love the fact that I can contribute to art while I'm in school, so it's a great opportunity for me. What a colorful and enlightening exhibit. If you'd like to make your own bottles at home, visit valweb.org, at V-A-L-W-E-B.org, and start painting. This is Julian Angeline signing off.